Well, good morning, Tubies. It's Psychic Bob. I'm just combing my long, long hair. You know, as your hair gets longer, and you women who have long hair probably already know this, but I'm discovering it, it takes longer to dry. When it was short, I could just towel dry it in five minutes to be dry. Now it takes like a half hour to be dry. <laughs> well, welcome to Thursday. It's Vlog Thursday. We're going to have some fun today. Come on along and hang out with us. Well, I got to show you something I just got. This is Guerlain perfume. It's Shalimar. Shalimar by Guerlain. This is a famous perfume. And anyways, I'm curious about it because I, I remember when I was a kid, I had an aunt who used to buy this and wear it and it smelled so good. I haven't smelled in like 40 years. And I found this on sale recently and I thought, you know what, I want to see if this perfume is any good. So. Tomorrow and Friday, we're going to break open this box of Guerlain of uh, Shalimar. So be back here tomorrow. We're going to talk about Shalimar, the classic mystic perfume. As we're in the heat of summer, I thought I would honor the Sun Lord. And today I'm going to wear one of my Sun Lord pendants. This is from India, and it's the Sun God. Uh, Surya is his name, Surya, Lord Surya. And I've got him on a beautiful orange cord. In India, orange is the color that's associated with sun god worship. Well, really all the colors, red, orange, and gold. Uh, but a lot of people wear jewelry for Surya on an orange cord. So I put this on an orange cord. I'm going to wear this today. This is really cool. It's a sterling silver pendant. And on the back, it has the Om symbol. Isn't that cool? Om and Lord Surya on the front. So that's what I'm wearing today. And there's my Lord Surya pendant. Yay! <laughs> I need to make an offering here at my Shinto shrine. Every day I'm practicing doing offerings to the Kami here at my altar. Part of my daily offerings is to offer some money with my prayers each day. It's traditional in Shinto to make an offering. It doesn't have to be a lot, but you make an offering. And then you ring the bell. And then we bow twice. And some Shinto practitioners open their shrine at the day. I like to do that as well. Hail Sukuyami, Kami of the Moon, hail. It's traditional to leave some offerings. So I present to Sukuyami and the Kami this water and I offer it to them with a bow. And the other offering is traditional with salt. So we'll offer salt. And again with a bow. And I like to spend a few minutes in quiet reflection and contemplation. Shinto is a very quiet faith except at festival times. All right, we're getting ready to head out, but before we head out, we gotta do a quick fashion check. Cool happening shades. Check. Louis Vuitton scarf, face mask, check. Black t-shirt, check. Black jeans, check. Black loafers, check. <gasps> what am I forgetting? Oh, that's right, Louis. Here we are, Louis Vuitton bag, yay. Louis with this too. Check. I think we're ready to head out on the town. So come on along. <laughs> well, if I gotta wear a face mask, I might as well have some style. How you like my Louis Vuitton scarf face mask? Isn't that cool? LV, 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 yay. <laughs> Say goodbye, I've got to be styling. <laughs> come on along. <laughs> 
we are out on the street and it is gonna be a hot day. It's already in the 90s. Our sky is clear. I don't see many clouds. And there is our Sun Lord shining down. Hail to the Sun Lord. Glory to you, Lord Surya. Woo! Well guys, let's cruise on along. We got an adventure today. All right, it is too darn hot to be wearing this mask. Anyways, also, you know, I was worried about this mask because it's black. And people might think I'm an Antifa supporter. Because don't all the Antifa supporters wear black kerchief masks? They wouldn't wear a Louis Vuitton mask, though. That's too capitalist for those leftists. Well, let's go out along. <laughs> let's stay out of the politics. You know, as I'm walking along today, I'm really watching the Sun Lord and, you know, I have a great devotion to the Sun Gods. And, uh, you know, we're about to come up here on Lunasa. And when's Lunasa? August 1st, I think? Or is it the 15th? I'm blanking out. I think it's the 1st. <laughs> All my days are confused. But anyways, Lunasa is the beginning of the Sun Lord's descent, his decline. We might think of it like at summer solstice at Litha back in June. The Lord, if you think of it like a man in his life cycle, like when a male is like 35, 40 years old, he's at the height of his energy. He's got his life together, his career is usually good. Then by 60, you start a little decline. And so the holiday we're coming up to Lunasa is the beginning of the decline of the Sun Lord. So it's kind of like going from the height of your career to kind of advanced middle age, where the days start to get just a little shorter and the Sun's Lord, Sun Lord's power is just a little weaker. By no mean way does it, da, 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 by no means does it mean that the Sun Lord has no power. It's just that that power is changing, you know? So now's a good time to get out and walk and study the energy of our Sun Lord. I tell you, it's such a beautiful, bright, clear day. There's our Sun Lord shining down, looking amazing. Here we are at the footbridge. Shout out to my buddy Gav in England. I know you love the bridge. I love walking across this bridge too. I have the best time here. It's really lovely here by the water. All is calm on the river today. Just have a beautiful day out here. Nothing like coming to the river and having a moment of tranquility, is there? Good to get out of the sun even though I love our Sun Lord just get into a little shade it is just spectacular here by the river look at it just gently flowing by the lush greenery here it's really like a paradise in this park I call this my private backyard <laughs> well it's not really my private yard but I act like it is walk and enjoy it you know tell you if I had a lot of money and have a big estate with a big parkland like this on it. I might buy a house in England if I had a lot of money. One of those big English country estates. That would be a lot of fun. So, you know, since last time, last Thursday when we went out walking, I'm curious if any of you have gone walking or tried to go out and discover something new. A lot of you wrote to me and said, Bob, I'm inspired. You're getting me motivated to get out of my house and start living again. And I hope you are. I hope you're inspired to live because walking, attuning to the earth is a form of spirituality. You don't have to go to a church and get lectured by a priest to how evil you are. Go out and walk on the earth. You'll get more out of it. I trust, trust me on that. And look what I spy up ahead. One of my dear oak friends. As you know, I'm friends with the trees. Isn't he majestic? Look at that beautiful oak. Just lovely. 
And I want to show you something here about our wonderful oak. Do you notice what's growing here? This is actually the north side of the tree. Which they always say moss grows on the north side. I don't know if that's true, but it seems to be true a lot here in this part. So that's that way's east. Oh wait, that's the south side. That's so well, anyways, it's on the south side. Okay. But look at that beautiful green moss. And you know my saying that I always say, green equals life. So we can see life existing here in this beautiful moss. It's its own little ecosystem, its own little world of insects that live in the moss and sustain by it. I just love it. Green equals life. Well, we got to give our favorite tree a hug. Good to see you, my friend. May I give you a hug? Always ask the tree's permission. And then just wait, you'll get a sense. The tree says it's laughing. And it wants me to hug. So yay! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> You're my good friend. Thank you so much. I'm glad to see you again. Oh, you're looking very tall. <laughs> Thank you. Blessings to you, Mr. Tree. You see, the trees really are our friends. They give us life force. They give us oxygen. They help remind us to slow down and to be reflective. And down behind me here, down this embankment, is Mother Ganges. Many of you who have been following my channel remember several months ago I came here in the spring and consecrated this river and invoked the goddess Ganges. And so Ganges River is here in my backyard practically. The goddess can go wherever she's invoked, and I asked her to be present in this river and blessed it in her name. And so now we have our own Ganges River. I don't have to go to India. India has come to me. Anyways, the overgrowth's a little thick here. I'm not going to go today. I don't have the right clothes on, but you can see a little bit and hear the river flowing. It's just beautiful. Isn't that something? See, the universe around us is alive, but we have to get to know it. So when we talk to the trees and commune with the rivers and know Mother Earth, our lives become enriched. Well, here we are at Fox Chase. Sega Bob needs two things. One, I need to get out of the sun. It's getting a little hot. I need to get some food and something cold to drink. So I guess it's three things. But here I am at La Casa, my favorite restaurant. And I got me a nice cold iced tea. And I'm still trying to decide what I want to eat. All these choices. <laughs> but I'm styling in my Louis Vuitton mask. <laughs> I'm sitting here sipping my tea and enjoying myself. I brought a wonderful book I've been working on. I've told some of you about this if you've been following, but this is a really wonderful book. It's by Stephen King. It's called The Body. And Stephen King is normally a horror writer, but this is not a horror story. It's a drama. It's a coming of age story. And it's about four boys who set out on an adventure to find a body that they heard of a missing boy who they think was killed. And it's about their friendship on the way and their life and where they are and their, you know, the coming changes. They're all going off to a new school in the fall to junior high. And they're contemplating how their friendships are going to change. And it's really a touching, very profound, deep book. And I saw an interview with Rob Reiner. Uh, who did the movie. There was a movie based on this called uh, Stand By Me. It was actually this book in a movie form, but Rob Reiner said that Stephen King uh, actually lived this. This is actually kind of autobiographical when he was a kid and his adventures that he had. So pretty interesting. Oh, look guys, what has arrived? What do we got here? Is this, what do we got today? Club sandwich. Club sandwich. Yay, thank you so much. All right. Oh, look what I got today, guys, because it's so hot. I didn't want a hot, hot meal. So I got a cool club sandwich. Club sandwiches were really big 
back in the 1920s and 30s. People used to go to clubs and, and somebody started making these. And they became known as the club sandwich because they were country clubs would serve them after golf rounds. Anyways, I just love it. And so I got my lunch, got my tea, got a good book, and I'm hanging with my tubies. What could be better? Mmm. <laughs> This is really good. This is kind of one of these all-American sort of sandwiches. I don't remember these in England. Any of my British people, do you guys have club sandwich there? I think it's really an American style thing. It's a stack of cold cuts. And it's lettuce and turkey and ham and bacon and cheese and, oh, I just love it. Mm. It's cold too, which is great on this hot day. Ah, Tubies, that was such a good lunch. I'm just relaxing here after eating and working on my book. And just being chill. This afternoon after I get home, I'm going to be working on updating my lesson plan for my class. This Saturday I'm having a psychic development class. And uh, we're going to be hosting it on Zoom. And if you want to join the class, it's only $30, and you can register at my website. Go to PsychicBob.com. When you scroll down, you'll see a header that says Psychic Development Class, and below that will be a PayPal button. Just click on that, enter your information, and that's your registration. So this Saturday, we're going to teach on psychometry, how to read objects through your hands. And we're going to continue talking about infused knowledge, which we started last week, but we've got more on that to cover as well. So I hope you'll come out and join us. If you got, you know, you don't got nothing to do this Saturday, you know, it's midsummer and it's hot and you don't feel like going anywhere, why don't you stay in, stay cool, get a cup of iced tea, and come and join our psychic development class. We have such a great time. It's a great group. I'd love for you guys to be there with us. So register over at psychicbob.com. Join today. Oh, that was such a great lunch. Now we're going to go out. We're going to go to Walgreens. Oh, let's see what's going on with our sun lord. Oh, it's so bright out here. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, our sun lord is glaring. Hail to the sun lord. I swear he gets brighter as the day goes on. <laughs> Where are we going to go, Walgreens? Say Bob has to have some root beer. I've been having this craving lately to drink root beer. So I'm going to go see if I can find some. It seems so popular. All the stores are out locally. But we're going to see if we can have some luck and round some up. Say Bob on TV. Say Bob TV star. Hey, party on. Yay. <laughs> well, there I am. We gotta find some root beer today. Well, Tubies, I am out of luck. This store is also out of root beer. I went to Harris Teeter yesterday. They're out of root beer. I went to CVS. They were out of root beer. I'm here. I don't see any root beer here either. This is not Psycho Bob's week for getting root beer. And I don't often drink root beer, but when I do, I love it. I have a craving for it. And I'm having a craving, and I can't find any root beer. <sighs> Isn't it ironic? The one time I don't want Coke, and they have plenty of Coke. Because you know I love Coke. But lately I'm just bored with Coke. I want something different, so I want a root beer. Oh well, you know what? We'll go with a great backup. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew's always good. So this looks like what we're going to have today. We're going to have a sink. Sink going to have Mountain Dew. So come on along. Oh, wait, let's just check this stand. Well, actually, Coke doesn't produce root beer. We're deter I'm determined to find me some root beer. Let's see if this cooler has... Oh, look! Oh, about Star Gold! a and Root Beer. Guys, I have lucked out the last two root beers in the whole shop, and I got them. <laughs> well, guys, Sigabob had to get a cart. I'm on a shopping spree. Look out. <laughs> we need some chocolate to go with our root beer. Oh my god, look what I found. Whoppers. I love these. These are malted milk balls. The original malted milk balls. These are so I used to eat these when I was a kid. Oh, alright, that's going in the cart. So Bob's getting luxurious today. 
Oh my goodness, all oh, the chocolate, look at that. Oh, Twix is good. Oh my gosh, <gasps> Snickers. Have you guys tried the Snickers almond? I'm not being endorsed by them, but they're really good. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> along with my cart. <laughs> Alright, Timmy, say goodbye, Bob is happy. He scored his root beer, got his chocolate, and life is good. Well, guys, I'm going to head home. I've got readings to do and class plans to work on. But I'm so glad we got to spend some time together. Listen, please help me out. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to our channel. Love for you to be here. Well, guys, it's so good to be here. We're, by the way, we're outside Samurai Hibachi Grill, which I love. We'll come back here probably next week and check the scene out. Well, guys, you rock. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow for Friday, Free for All Friday. We're going to look at Shalimar perfume and have some other fun stuff. So make sure to be here. Anyways, don't forget, go subscribe to my Psychic Development class for this Saturday, $30 at my website, psychobob.com. Go there. If you want to book a private reading with me, I still have a few openings for this next week. Give me a call. 703-825-3929 is my number. Look forward to seeing you guys back here tomorrow. And until then, may all of you always blessed be.